another world, another time, in the age of wonder, another world, another time, his life was green and good. Goth and dark, Midgard, and ye gods, it is a horrible Halloween or Samhain or however you want to describe the coming week. Shit is going down, isn't it? The whole Me Too thing is still rumbling on, and there are plenty of people who never met a moral panic they didn't like or didn't want to cash in on. With all the high profile stuff going on in Hollywood and politics and elsewhere, it's easy to overlook how these kind of moral panics can have negative effects on much smaller communities. Now, before I continue, I'm in no way saying that this shit never happens. I am in no way saying that it's not serious when it does happen. But people do seem to be trying to exploit this whole situation in order to push the same old agendas that we've ever seen. Now, while I have no problem with people pursuing justice for cases of genuine sexual assault, sexual abuse, abuse of power and so on. I am, I think, understandably, in my case, wary of witch hunts. You know, having been on the receiving end of one and seeing how stories get out of hand, how accusations get out of hand, how people can be demonized and marginalized and, and cut off all on the spurious basis of accusations that have no grounding whatsoever in reality. I'm fairly sure most of you know what I'm talking about, but the, the accusations and so on that got leveled at me just because I like sexy material in my games and because I wrote a blog defending free speech even achieved the height of accusations of, of sexual abuse. Now I have never sexually abused anyone. I have never raped anyone, but that's the height to which these accusations went, on the basis of zero evidence whatsoever. And this was a few years ago, when things were hardly as frenetic and horrible as they are now, and they were almost instantly retracted and, and, and so forth, and so nothing stuck back then. Things have changed now. People are being accused of things that are really little more than clumsy flirtations. Even Frank Mentzer has been accused. He made a, a, a slightly clumsy old man comment to a, a fairly attractive but personality-wise rather nasty young woman saying, oh if I were 30 years younger, which is an obvious compliment. And it seems like, though I don't have all the details, it seems like her massive overreaction made him go, whoa, and back away. And that has in turn been interpreted as some kind of blacklisting that was leveled at her for not reciprocating his advances. Again, the details are a little bit hazy and it's he said, she said. But that's a problem with a lot of these things. And the issue I have is this whole listen and believe, believe the victim thing. I don't believe victims, I believe evidence. You know, these, these things, logic, reason, ev evidence, being able to make a supported argument, it may be imperfect when it comes down to one person's word against another, but it is the best justice system that we have. And shifting to an inquisitorial system, which is what many of these people seek to do, that is going to violate Blackstone's formulation. You know, I, w I would rather wicked people went free than good men were sent to prison in, in essence and there's a proportion to it and that's the problem we have here people want you to go on their say so and people are grabbing the, this opportunity of these revelations to push this and a whole bunch of other stuff really hard god knows I love Mongoose Publishing they, they gave me a lot of breaks early on in my career good bunch of people <laughs> but Matthew at Mongoose never met an opportunity to shill that he, that he didn't like. And he has definitely latched on to this as an opportunity to shill Mongoose. They're, they're planning this sort of women's only uh, sort of open day, gaming day, whatever. Ig ignoring the fact that this is obviously sexist. 
Yeah, I, I personally do not believe that you can fix sexism with sexism, or racism with racism, or classism with classism, or any other ism with any other ism. I just, it just doesn't work. It, it's morally bankrupt. It's ethically bankrupt, and it only increases tensions. And so, predictably, the reaction to Mongoose's Women's Only Open Day is a lot of people pointing out that this is massively hypocritical if you're claiming to be anti-sexist, but you're doing something sexist. And other people have followed suit in similar ways, and various blog posts about Me Too and uh, other supposed sexual harassment issues in the role-playing community have, have popped up. And then EN World has decided to dismiss anyone that raises any objection as, as an MRA and to delete their posts from their blog, something, something I raised with, with Morrissey from EN World, and he blocked me. <laughs> this infuriates me. We live in a community, as gamers, as, as role-playing gamers, that has suffered from witch pursuit thingies in the past, massively. You know, it turned out we're not all Satanists. It turned out that our games did not cause people to suicide. Similarly, it turned out that comics did not make the youth degenerate. It turned out that heavy metal did not make people satanic or cause them to commit suicide. It turns out that pornography does not raise the rape rate or the sexual assault rate, and in fact may be responsible for its precipitous drop. But none of this seems to matter to anyone. This, this community, this creative, artistic community that has suffered the slings and arrows of witch pursuit thingies in the past, it is there's one place where they shouldn't get any traction, where people should be wary and thoughtful and should be evidence-based. And yet, somehow, this, this doesn't happen. Somehow, whenever one of these fusses comes up, perhaps for public relations reasons, this whole community loses its collective mind now, in a way it never did over the satanic panic or... The computer games community, you know, stood up for itself when it was Jack Thompson. But something about the, this this current era, something about these new moral panics, the the sexism moral panics, the racism moral panics, and so on, something about that has a has a traction, despite being as outrageous as these previous claims that that it never did in the past, and it is fucking infuriating. And yet, when you try to bring it up, when you try to point this out to anyone, shut up, James block. Any community is going to contain people that you disagree with, and it is a measure of our principles how we extend free speech to people who disagree with us. I think people have every right to object to women-only things. I think people have every right to object to the interpretations of things like Frank Mensa's clumsy flirtation. God knows I'm not a good-looking guy, and I'm socially awkward, and I'm sure I've made clumsy approaches and and things to women in the past but that's a very very different thing to sexual assault or sexual harassment or, or whatever else the, the, the level of, uh, of tolerance especially in a community with a lot of socially awkward people for approaches and friendships and so on seems to have descended to the level of zero the, the great thing about the role-playing community was always that it was so open and accepting. And now it seems people who are driving it to, so they claim to become even more open and accepting, are in fact making it much more hostile, much more of a, of a social minefield. You know, I, I've experienced in the past using role-playing to help people uh, on the spectrum, shall we say, to, to learn and adapt to and understand social skills. And I recently saw a documentary on, on YouTube, I think, about this, people using, using games to, to help people with social issues and so on come out of their shell. So there's clearly a, a value to games in that way, and one that is going to be lost if we allow this puritanical mindset, whatever the good intentions, to take hold. I think it's necessary, unfortunately, for, for me to reiterate the one... I'm not saying that people should be able to get away with sexual abuse or whatever. I'm not saying it's not happening. I'm saying that we need to be wary of witch hunts. We need to be wary of inquisitorial justice. You know, we need to hold people to the same standards of evidence and, and logic and reason that we do anyone else. I think women are big girls who can look after themselves, who can navigate 
the world perfectly well by themselves as, as well as any man and we do not need to make special accommodations in fact I find that patronizing and massively sexist benevolent sexism but sexism nonetheless if something happens to you come forward and say it I mean it's got it's got to the point here where apparently and I've had this from several sources that I trust there is a list of bad men going around behind the scenes in the role-playing community I'd be curious to see if I'm on <laughs> that list for no reason but this has happened before in, in colleges lists uh, of men who are so, you know, have been accused of being whatever there's no check there's no process you know, this is just accusations going around but they're taken as gospel these lists have been pasted up in women's toilets in universities and things go and, go and look it up that's not just that's not right that's not proper how easy would it be to, for someone to just add the name of someone that they don't like onto these lists and if this list is going around in the role playing community is it probably going to end up being a blacklist as well for work and so on what, what right of recourse does anyone have what right of reply especially if it's being kept secret and they find themselves being turned down to jo for jobs and not knowing why that's concerning isn't it and I think something that people need, need to remember is that Gamergate got started because someone posted a warning about their ex being abusive and that wasn't really considered to be okay was it but of course that's none of my business. The big post over on Organic Blue Stocking Gaming, which exemplifies the problem, I think. It reads more like a, a list of demands. Uh, the, the dictatorial commands of, of the new Reich seeking to impose those over gaming. And a, a lot of it's familiar stuff, but you know, this video is already long, so I think we're going to leave that till tomorrow. And I'll tackle the problems with those demands there. Before I sign off, I want to reiterate again, I am completely against sexual abuse. All of these, these problems, when they're genuine and real, I am entering a note of caution and I am asking you not to try and fix sexism with sexism. I am asking you to reject, listen and believe and to instead employ trust but verify. Zang.